I'm Mike Sullivan. Are you shanking your chips or pitches? I'm gonna show you how to fix it. I I'm gonna cover up the mic because it's really windy. Anyway, has that been you? Have you just been completely baffled as to why in the world you can't hit a simple pitch shot, shanking it like crazy? Well, let's take a look at what's going on here and then we're gonna talk about something sensible that we can do to fix it. So let's go back and give it a try. So what, what we've got is we've got a case of the Hazel Rockets, the S word, I'll say it, the shanks. So let's just break this down and figure out what's happening so we can get it fixed. So I'm gonna put the ball up on a tee because this is just gonna make things a little bit less stressful. And um, what's happening when we hit these shots is we're catching the ball in here. I'm gonna move up closer. We may be out of focus, that's all right. I'm catching the ball in here on the hosel of the club when that happens. I'm not hitting the club face, all right? Sorry if that was out of focus, but I wanted to show you that. This can happen a couple of different ways. One thing that can happen is we can get the club coming back to the ball from outside the target line the club is outside the target line, then on the way down to the ball, the hosel just kind of nicks the ball on the way through and boom, we get our shank. That is one way we can shank. Another way that we can shank is in the course of hitting these, these small shots is that our hands move out towards the ball a little bit on the way down. And if the hands move towards the ball, it's pretty easy to get the hosel out too close to the ball and we catch it on the hosel. So those are two different ways that we shank. There is something we can do to help with both, and one of those things is to put a barrier on the outside of the ball. So I'm going to use a water bottle, okay? And I'm gonna place this bottle just outside of the ball. I've got plenty of room to actually make contact with the ball. So that's one thing that's gonna help me mentally avoid this club getting out here, either from the inside or the outside. But the other thing is this, and this is especially true of the in to out shank. On that in to out shank, what we wanna do is we want our hands to come back underneath our shoulders, and then we also want to return to the ball coming from underneath our shoulders, as opposed to out this way. So one thing I'll, you know, I suggest to people is to feel like your hands are really staying underneath your shoulders on the way back and the way through. So it's gonna look something like this. Okay, right on the club face. For that out to in shank, something that really gets people into trouble there is actually on their backswing. So I'm gonna tee up another ball. So that out to in shank a lot of time comes from starting our club too much with our hands, the club gets back behind us, and then a lot of times when people go to get back to the ball, they'll make a little move, moving their hands out towards the ball and they catch it out to in. So we also want to make sure, and this kind of goes back to what I said earlier, is that our hands come back under our shoulders, our shoulders turn to keep our club out in front of us as opposed to behind us. So we're going to go ahead and turn back club here and then keep the hands under the shoulders on the way through. So whether your shank is an in to out shank or an out to in shank, set up a little barrier, put your ball on a tee and just practice making sure your hands stay under the shoulders back, under the shoulders through, keep turning through, relax, and you can get over the dreaded shanks. If you like this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up for a like. And if you subscribe to our channel, you'll be notified by email each time that we produce a new instructional video.